Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm making a review of a, an online photo editor called Photor or something like that. I hope I pronounced it uh, correctly. Uh, this is the website and for those of you who are wondering, I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, I just uh, It's just a cool editor. Uh, so I think uh, that for people that don't have Photoshop or if you want to make a quick edit of your photos, you can, uh, you can use this editor. Um, this is the link. It's photor.com. I'll put the link on the video description as well so you can uh, so you can come to the to this website one of the great things of this uh, editor is that uh, you have it online so you can use it uh, on your browser but you also have it for iPhone Android Windows 8 Mac or Windows so you have a lot of choice here and the video will be uh, for the online version I also have it installed on my Android and I'll show you some screenshots because I, I wanted to record a video from my phone but I couldn't so I'll post some screenshots. But uh, well, let's um, see a bit uh, how this um, how this um, editor works. Uh, yeah, you also have the extension for Chrome. I don't have it installed, so you can try that as well. Uh, and it also has a banner maker, which is really cool. So if you have a personal website and you want to make a banner, you can just uh, click that uh, button there on the main page, and you can set the dimensions for your banner, and just click Start Now. And you have uh, one thing that I really liked about this editor is that it has a lot, a lot of uh, presets, so you can choose from a lot of pre-made uh, designs, backgrounds, clip arts, and stuff like that. So you can design your banner and then save it on your computer. Uh, but let's go back to the to the main page. And uh, if you want to go to the editor itself, uh, just click Open Photo. You can uh, make collages or cards. I'll show you how that works. Or you can go to features and uh, you have all the features that the editor has and from here you can open the editor. But uh, let's go to the open photo. And I'll use these two images for for this tutorial, for this review or whatever. So you can see you can add photos from your computer, from Facebook, from Picasa, mm, Flickr, web or... So you have a lot of choice here as well. Let's add another photo, this one. And all the photos that you will add will appear here. And it's in some ways like Photoshop, like having the layers here. So you can select each photo and you will apply this, uh, the edits to it. And here on the top part, you'll have the, the main editing tools. So this is for, uh, for uh, making adjustments to the image, uh, making color adjustments. Uh, let's discard that. So. Uh, once you select the main type of edit that you want to make to your image, here you have all the settings, all the options that you have for that particular, um, let's call it mode, okay? So you can make collages or things like that. And you have a lot of templates here, a lot of design, and all you can, all you need to do is just uh, drag the image there, you can zoom in and reposition it. So it's, it's really, really easy to, uh, to work with. And you can all uh, add this sort of quick effects to, uh, to the images, uh, I don't know why it's not okay. Have to wait a bit. This this is this image is uh, high resolution, so it it takes a bit um, it takes a bit longer. Okay, so uh, you can make uh, as I said, you can adjust the zoom. And I don't know this. Uh, yeah, this is to flip horizontally or vertically, so it's really really easy to do. Um, and from here, you can I think you can set the dimensions. Uh, well, uh, it should have an option to set the dimensions, I think. And yeah, right here on the left side, you can set the, the dimensions of the of the general photo and here have all the thumbnails. And as I said, you can uh, you can choose the type of, um, of image you wanna have, the type of distribution. And you can also uh, fill uh, in with all the photos that you have here. If you don't wanna add them manually, you can choose fill in and it will add all the photos uh, on, your, on your image here. And um, what else? Uh, you have a lot of options. I will not uh, go through all of 
all of the options here you can uh, increase the borders uh, the border width you can make them round if you want to uh, you can choose a pattern uh, if you want to have um, for the I think that's for the border uh, let's now it's for the background okay so you can choose a pattern from the for the background that uh, that you have on the images here or you can also choose a solid color okay um, so this is the basic the first uh, setting let's uh, call let's discard that um, that was the f one of the settings that you had uh, here have more templates um, okay so they're all uh, different then you have another set of of templates here let's discard that um, so you have vertical horizontal uh, this is for photo stitching okay uh, let's try this one this card okay so you have this uh, sort of different uh, I didn't I never tried this one so just a matter of uh, you can enter text you can add all sorts of uh, cool things to it uh, let's go back to the first one which is the basic one uh, I didn't see this I think this is new the one tap enhance uh, just click that and it will automatically adjust uh, the image for you uh, you can crop it rotate it make basic adjustments like brightness make it darker or brighter um, increase the contrast uh, increase the saturation so these things are really easy and really quick uh, effects that you can add to your photos you can make it sharper so just like I'm um, using the, the the sharpness in Photoshop so you don't have to open Photoshop to make this uh, sort of basic edits let's apply that uh, you can change the tone the exposure of the image and you can of course work with the sh with highlights and shadows only so it's a bit more advanced than the basic uh, than the, the rest of the editors online that I tried until now so I was a bit skeptical but uh, it has some really cool uh, features here so you can change the tint of the image really cool edits that you can make uh, to the image let's discard it and you have the curves like in Photoshop which allow you to and this is right and this is advanced so uh, you have the RGB you can adjust the contrast by making uh, this kind of S shape you can change the each channel independently so it's just like in Photoshop okay so that's that's really cool for an online editor so uh, you can work with the curves let's cancel it or you can resize the image this is the uh, the size the the original size of the image and here on the bottom you can choose the kind of zoom you want if you want to fit it on the screen or if you want to just uh, if you click uh, one on one uh, that will show the original size of the image and uh, from here you can compare from the top let me zoom in zoom out a bit uh, if you apply a setting let's um, apply some basic settings uh, you can compare okay you can compare the original with the one that you had or you can undo uh, settings that you add or just go back to the original without any edits and from here this was the first option let's discard it and on the second one you have more effects you have pre-made effects like you know Lomo effects and stuff like that which are really easy you don't have to do anything just to select the effect and you have some controls from the strength that you want for that particular image so for personal photos like uh, photos of yourself if you want to upload them to Facebook or if you already have them on Facebook you, you can import them here from from your Facebook account you can add quick effects here and then you can save them so you can see that these are really cool uh, settings really cool edits and really easy to apply just selecting them and adjusting the strength and you have vintage effects black and white and all of the settings here which are really really cool I will not go through all of them because there are a lot and I don't want to make this video too long the mosaic uh, effect allows you to pixelate an image like that if you want to exclude someone from the image and you can uh, change the, si the size of the brush or the intensity the intensity of the effect see that basically changes the, the size of the of those pixels and you can erase that effect if you want to exclude if you want to delete the effect from the image and then you have frame effects let's discard that I think these ones are the frames yeah have a lot of pre-made frames for images so just select them and it will add the frame 
and you have all of these options here which are uh, you can change the for this particular kind of borders you can change the color so you can have a different color for for the border and then you have uh, more options which I think these are the clip arts yeah you can add clip arts to your to your image let's add this one let's discard it so you can add like uh, funny clip arts to your image you can change the opacity of them you can change the size of course and one really cool thing is that you can also change the blend mode just like in Photoshop and that was quite surprising for me so you can see you have all this blend modes and they work exactly the same as in Photoshop so you can see that this has uh, between the teeth you have that black background if you set this to the screen if I can find it you will see that the black background goes away just like in Photoshop okay so if you change this to multiply you will see that it will become darker so the blend modes work exactly the same as in Photoshop and you have all of these clip parts here which you can use to make funny photos uh, for your friends or cards or stuff like that let's go to the third mode here so just try all of this uh, clip arts you have a lot of them these are uh, cards you have a lot of templates here as well uh, you can see all of the um, um, sub menus here which allow you to select from different card templates so uh, let's try for example this one a thank you card so just uh, I don't know select this one wait for it to load and just drag your photo right there and you can zoom in or out just to and then adjust the photo you can add all of these effects if you want and uh, let's see uh, you can add clip arts to here or uh, I think this one's well the text can be changed but this one the background cannot be changed I think um, but well let's add a love clip art for example this one may place it there make it a bit smaller and change the blend mode let's say to let's see if we have soft light or we have overlay so let's try for example multiply set it there and reduce a bit the opacity and well let it there so um, yeah that's the effect uh, that you can add you can add as many clip parts as you want or choose from other templates that you have here and you can see you have like tons of them which are really cool and then you have the HDR mode which is really cool and um, you can load bracketed images if you have like three or four exposures you can load them here and then uh, place them right here I don't I think it only allows for three exposures I'm not sure but I'll load the samples so these are three bracketed um, photos. It's the same photo, but with different exposures. You can see this one is uh, overexposed. This one is with the correct exposure, and this one is underexposed. And uh, all you need to do is load them. Uh, let's choose Ghost Reduction, which is another feature that you have, and click Start, and wait for the image to be processed. And you have some limitations to this. So you can see the kind of effect you get and uh, let's compare that to the original uh, we, well we cannot because these were three photos but you can see from all the, these photos it made a new image with a brighter with brighter tones with a higher dynamic range because this is now an HDR photo and you can you can zoom in to see to see the result you have some limitations to this you can see uh, I think you have um, a size limitation so I think you can only load a certain um, dimension, uh, photos with certain dimensions. I'm not really sure. As for the for the Android um, application, or I don't think I don't know if this if it's the same for iPhones, but uh, on the Android you have less features. Of course, you cannot have the same amount of features as on the online application. But it's also really it's also really cool so you can add a lot of um, a lot of cool effects to your photos you can install it if you want I tried it and it's it's nice so well that's um, that's what I wanted to show you how to use this cool online photo editor I hope you like it and if you do just uh, it's free it's you can uh, come here to the website and just enjoy 
editing your photos. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.